What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and my name is Matt. We're gonna go through why you should pretty much ditch your HYSA or your high yield savings account and go towards treasury money market funds. And I'm gonna get right into that just because it just makes sense, right? And let me just tell you why. Let's get started. So if you guys don't know what a treasury money market fund is versus a high yield savings account, you know, your typical high yield savings account is what everybody tells you to put your money in. You get 5% per year APY on it, and you can just live happily ever after. But I'm going to introduce a new investment vehicle to you that is called the treasury money market fund. So if you guys don't know what that is, that is basically a money market fund that holds treasuries. And what a treasury is, is you're basically putting your money into something that is going to be a loan to the government that says, hey, I'm going to give you X amount of dollars. And by next year, next date, you're going to give me X amount of dollars back. And right now, the treasuries anywhere between four, five, sometimes even six percent. But yearly, you know, it changes. So we're going to have to take into account all of these changes in the yields. Right. So. I'm going to go through this entire list here of what makes a treasury money market fund different from a high yield savings account. Well, starting from the top, we can see that uh, one is a savings account, one is a money market fund. However, one is going to be in treasury securities, which is your bonds, which is your government loans that, you're, that I said before, versus um, the primary investments for HYSA is going to be bank deposits. So the way that a um, HYSA is funded is you're going to just put your money in there and they're going to be lending out your money. They're going to be putting that money into bonds as well. So it's going to be somewhat similar in that aspect. And in terms of interest rates, it's really going to rely on what the yield is at the time for bonds and as well as for high yield savings account. That is going to be set by the bank on how much they can really offer with all of their products and services that they have and how much money they can make in. So if they want to really promote this high yield savings account, they're going to give you a higher yield, but it's anywhere usually between four and a half to 5% on average. Same thing for treasury money market funds that I'll get into later as well. But really what I want to get into is the tax treatment of these two things. So if you live in a high taxed state like California, New Jersey, New York, those are just some names. I'll get into some more later, but if you live in a high tax state area, you really want to look towards treasury money market funds because it makes so much of a difference when you're investing and saving for a goal and um, just get rid of taxes. You know, it's if you can, why not? Right. So I'll get into that later, but we'll go through a couple more of these items. Safety. Both are pretty safe. They're both. Um, well, the treasury money market fund is backed by government securities, whereas your HYSA, if you put money into it, you have FDIC insurance up to $250,000. And in terms of liquidity, both are very high. In terms of both, you can take money out, you can put money in in the span of a day. So if you really want to take money out, take money in, in terms of a emergency situation, you definitely could with both of these accounts. So I went into the yield. The yield is going to uh, fluctuate every single time that the fed adjusts interest rates and it's going to be pretty competitive in terms of a minimum investment a treasury money market fund is typically zero if you know where to look however some brokerages do have minimums and you really want to make sure that you're shopping for something that doesn't have a minimum if you're on a tighter budget however in terms of hysas they're usually often pretty low sometimes a dollar or even more but it really depends as well. If you go for a different high yield savings account, it's going to be different. So in terms of fees, we're going to be looking at for the treasury money market funds and expense ratio. And a lot of them, it's uh, so most of the time it's included in their seven day yield. So the yield that we're seeing later on that I'll show you is actually going to be just that yield that you're getting because it's already included in there. However, in terms of high yield savings account, there's really no direct fees. Sometimes they might have minimum balance requirements. And um, access to funds, you access that anytime. The only other thing is your account protection. You might have FDIC insurance for the high yield savings account versus you don't have that for treasury money market funds. But treasury money market funds or anything treasury with the government is pretty reliable in terms of you're not going to lose your money. The government's not going to go broke. I mean, some can argue, but <laughs> most of the time your assets are going to be safe. So a treasury money market fund is for usually 
investors who are seeking a tax advantage or a higher credit quality of a uh, investment vehicle versus a high yield savings account is going to be for savers seeking guaranteed returns and immediate access to funds. Pretty similar. People might have the same exact goals. Now let's get into the math of everything. I mapped out these state tax rates for every single state out there. And it's really going to depend on your states. If you come from a state that is Alaska, Florida, Nevada, New Hampshire, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Washington, Wyoming, you pretty much don't got to worry about it because you're not getting taxed regardless. <laughs> so, but that doesn't mean, you know, you might not move to another state later on. However, we got to look at every single state and what that really means for your investment portfolio and your savings goals. So uh, if you guys haven't seen all these tax rates, they vary. There's some that are very low, as low as 2%, and some that are very high. Not even, yeah, as low as 0.25 sometimes, but, and they go as high as 13%, I believe, in California. But what I just have here is data from states. I have their tax rates in terms of the, uh, the little gaps that they have here. And I have the average tax state return or rate here, just because it gives us a better idea of what the average person might fall into. And here are the brackets uh, in terms of what these states hold. And these are the highest tax states here. So specifically, if you come from California, Hawaii, New Jersey, and you know, I'm not gonna go through this list, but a lot of these states, you really want to make sure that you're getting your money's worth and making the most money that you can so let's just go through this here i am looking at a i want a bank rate and i see that a lot of the times their high yield savings accounts are going to offer an average of 4.7 percent so we're going to go with the average of 4.7 percent here and us just going with the average of 4.7 percent in tax rate if you were to invest one thousand dollars and you're getting that 5% yield that you would a money market fund or a high yield savings account, then you're gonna be getting $50 back. However, you gotta take into account the taxes. In a high yield savings account, you get, you're gonna get taxed federal, state, and local taxes. Now, if we were to invest in a treasury money market fund, you emit, or you, I guess you get rid of the state and local taxes. Now that's game changer because you live in these areas it gets pretty pretty hot here and uh you don't want to be paying for that so if you were to have an average of you know a state tax rate of 4.7 percent you're going to lose about two dollars and 35 cents for every one thousand dollars that you put in that you could be getting so after a year you're of getting five percent your one thousand dollars turns to a thousand forty eight Versus if you were to put it in a treasury money market fund, it goes to $1,050. And this is all before federal taxes, of course. But we're going to do the math before federal taxes because the only thing that we can really calculate is state. So as you can see, it doesn't matter too much because you're like, oh, $2 is nothing, right? But, you know, once you get to the big boy numbers, you get you start climbing up the ladder of how much you're going to put into a emergency fund or a high yield savings account this could be for a down payment some people have fifty thousand dollars for a down payment some people might have a hundred thousand dollars some people might just want medical expenses and just a rainy fund for a rainy day right so you're going to be missing out on hundreds if not thousands of dollars if you live in a high tax state and don't have funds that you can really put into here so this is just a 4.7%. Now let's say that you're actually from a higher tax state. Uh, let's go as high as 7% because, you know, an average tax rate of 7% here in, I don't know, Minnesota. If we just go to 7%, not 700, but 7. So 7%, you know, it's $3. You can save as much as $3 up to $3,500. And let that sink in for a moment because that is a lot of money. And if you guys don't know, I uh, I pulled up the McDonald's menu here. I I had the one, two, three dollar menu. You know what you can get with, with the one to three dollars? 
you can get this sausage burrito. These, these are actually fire, by the way. If anybody goes, let me know. Let me put you on. Get this with the hot picante sauce, because that's that's good. But there's, you know, you can get you can get a thirty five hundred dollars. You can get a car. You can get a used car with that, right? In in many places, you get a used car. But I'm really trying to hackle and bang down the notch on. Here's how much you're able to save if you just get rid of state taxes and local taxes. Now, you might be wondering, oh, what are the funds of treasury money market funds? And what are they called? And how do I invest into them? Well, I mapped out two of the biggest ones here that I've personally looked into, which is Charles Schwab SNSXX is the ticker symbol and Fidelity's FDLXX. Those are the two ticker symbols that I'm looking at here. And if you're looking at how much you're going to be getting per year in Schwab, you're going to get 5.02% on your money, which is state tax free. And in Fidelity, you're getting a 4.94% tax or 4.94% APY on your money. And that's state tax free as well. Now, the only thing that we're going to look at and really understand here is, is this better, right? Is this better than your 5%? Well, of course it is because you know, you're getting that state tax emission here. And if you guys are worried about the um, expense ratio, that's also included into this 4.9% or 5% here. So that's included. But the, so these are actually no minimum to invest or no minimum to put into here. However, if you go into this Vanguard that I pulled up here, Vanguard FUSXX, Treasury Money Market Fund, you're going to see that there's actually a minimum of $3,000. However, this does get you the best yield out of all of them at 5.28. So if you guys have more to invest and have $3,000 and you have a, a fund for a car, some tuition or whatever, you can use this because you're going to be having more than $3,000 and that's going to get you the highest APY. And we really want to search out the best vehicles. And I believe this might be one of the best vehicles that I found. However, not everybody has $3,000 to invest. So Charles Schwab, Fidelity. You got one brokerage or the other, maybe choose one of them, right? And that's, that's, really, that's really much it, right? And it's, it comes down to these little choices that you're going to be making every single day that are going to compound your money, right? I would I would be so much happier if I had three dollars and fifty cents in my pocket if I didn't, right? Be just because I cut I pressed a couple of buttons and I was able to get there. So, with that said, make sure that you guys subscribe. Make sure if you guys like this video and want more content like this, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for your help, and uh, I hope this was valuable to you. Peace out, guys.